And welcome back to the long run where we are playing Lufia 2 Rise of the Sinistrals. Last time we got through about maybe half of the North Mountains. We're crossing this bridge and immediately we're blocked. Well, good game everyone. Let's go home. Uh, we can probably just use a bomb for that. Yeah, sure. Well, that's suspicious. Laura's is very fragile here. Don't put so much weight on it. Feel like I probably will have to. Yeah, sure. Easy puzzle to solve. Naturally, we needed that tree key for right here. Are you Giad by any chance? That's me. Who are you folks? I'm Maxim. I'm after someone on the East Continent, but the ships in the lane were destroyed. What? All the ships destroyed? What about my mortals? I didn't see any ships at all in port, so probably. Darn it! What's going on? Well, that makes my coming here worthwhile, huh? What do you say? There's a tree called the Fabled Tree on this mountain. It's light, strong, ideal for ships. I'm a darn good ship maker, you see. As soon as, I, as soon as I get the tree, I can make the best. But the monster ahead is too tough, so I'm stuck sitting here doing nothing. Oh, that's easy then. Let's, let us take care of the monster. You sure? Trust me, but in return, please take us to the Eastern Continent when you finish the ship. Sure, no problem. You got a deal? Drop save. Oh dear. This might be the one. Maybe I should have healed up guy, but um, here we are. Bomb attack. Bravery got frenzy. What is the mind curing him? And quarter of the using max HP. Let's heal everyone. What do you got? I also got bomb attack. Uh, plus a cure fleet. I don't think Parish is gonna work, and we also have Frenzy. Uh, fleet is single attack right now. Dimwit? Lore's intelligence of all enemies. Okay. Ooh, that's spicy, actually. Also, they attacked first. That's not good. Uh, let's try out Frenzy. Attack, and you're going to cast Stronger on Guy, and hopefully Guy does not survive. Okay, well, I tried. Water attack is useless. Stronger ends up going on Mazzy. <laughs> and Mazzy attacks the wrong unit. But that went all kinds of wrong. So we rally on guy. Oh, you can multi-target rally. That's good to know. I don't know if uh well Selden's probably gonna cast second because of, like I stack agility on that. And yes, indeed, that is the, um, that is the revive spell. Okay. 
Okay. My water attack is pretty much useless. And I'm gonna have you cast stronger on Gaia and Selen, and you're going to cast Flash. One down. Yikes. It's a bit too much of a bite for Mousy there. Unfortunately, she will not be gaining experience from this fight, but that's everyone down, so guy levels up, Maxim levels up. I'm almost out of MP. Selen's running a little low as well. Let's go ahead and save. That's all we can really do right now. The big old tree. The, this is it. This is a huge. This, this is a huge tree. Is this it? Yeah, I'm sure of it. You think you can make a ship out of this? Sure, the best! Right. I'll go back to the city and organize some help. No, wait. What is it? I have to go back right away and... You can go back to the city in a flash. What? Did you come over here and stay close to us? So, we're ready. Alright. Warm. Well, that's what a warp is. Is that your first time? Yeah, I don't, mean, I don't mean many people who can use spells. My stomach feels kind of weird. And you're just spell sick. It happens to some people when they get hit with one. Me? Sick? You're kidding, I've never been sick. Even riding out of a storm. Chips and spells are different, but you'll soon get used to it. <laughs> no thanks, I prefer ships. Ah, oh, that's right. I've got a ship to make. I'm off to fish the wood. The ship will be done in a couple of days. I'll show you my best work. Come back then, okay? I guess sailors like cruising better than warping. I'm so used to warping now that that I can't travel uh, that I can't travel around slowly in ships. But you can't get to places you've never been by warp. That means we must travel by ship. Ah, uh, that's true. By the way, Maxim, what are we going to do until the ship is done? Jihad said a couple of days, so. We have to stay in the city until then. Maxim, I just remembered something you have to do. Me too. Well, you're not thinking of going out of town, are you? Not to show off or anything, but besides being great and all, I'm good at making friends. Huh. No woman in the right, in the right mind would befriend you. I'm saving until you see what I can do, alright? Where is this confidence coming from? You got nothing special to be proud of. Well, Maxim, you heard us. We'll be chilling around the city for a couple days. Typical of us. We'll make a beautiful ship. Well, unfortunately, with the other two um, out of the party, that does mean that it's going to be kind of hard to shop. But uh, we've got the only two people in the party right now that can actually cast magic, so let's focus on that at least. Uh, I will give her both Vortex and Blizzard. Rally's still kind of expensive, so I'll leave it as a uh, maximal only thing. For the time being at least. Unfortunately, the only upgrade that I can buy right now is not even really an upgrade. But we would have to wait until the other two are back in the party. Hmm. 
names can only legally be five, five letters or less. Generally five letters exactly. Anyway, this is a pretty small town, so I guess let's just uh, go to the inn. And since it's just the two of us, hmm. to get access to the ancient cave, are we? And it seems pretty obvious, so that we can't go to the, uh, the Ustar continent. Alekia and Sharon, we've heard, we've heard of those places at a different time. Get out of my way, guy. Eh, of course. Of course Deco's gonna be around the bunny girls. So is it just literally we have to stay in the inn for, for another day? Well, that's kinda silly, honestly. Well... At least it's only 10 gold. Okay, it's been a couple of days. Surely that's, uh, yep. Look at this beauty! I did it! It's done! This is the newly born Margos. Incredible, it's amazing how fast you can work. Nothing really. Piece of cake. Do it all the time. <laughs> well, it's ready, huh? Look good timing. I need a break from the party. Yeah, you just don't know how to handle the wild side like I do, huh? <laughs> Look who's talking. Who, who was it that got smacked upside the head by a new friend? You know how, sh how strong she was. She's probably stronger than Gady is. Huh? <laughs> sure. And it's not just strength. She she just knows how to handle brutes like you. In, in any case, she uh, would you take us to the Ustar continent? Why not? And exactly where do you want to go? You can go to either Narcissus Port on Ustark or Gruberic Port where the Asian Cave is. Uh, give us a second first. We, we've been through this whole rigmarole, I want to say. I want to save, not in. <laughs> also, come to think of it, I should probably, now that we're the whole party again. By the way, yeah, this has an ID. Um, I mean, that's more defensive, but uh, attack and strength go down. I don't like that. I think that's really the only thing that I want to buy. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, switch the order again. Then go save.
Okay. Um, I'm gonna leave it to chat. Where do we go? We want to continue on with the story, which is Narcissus, or do we got do we want to go poke at Agent Cave? We're not gonna finish it like anytime soon, but we could go for an initial exploration at the very least. Zero says Ancient Cave. Tangent, tangent. Hey, you don't have a whole lot of people in chat right now, so if two of you are saying Ancient Cave, I think that's enough. So just a yes or no answer. Do we eventually get our own boat like the first game? Is that some point in the game? I believe so. Alright. I do tend to prefer having my own boat. Ah. Uh, Hatsumiku group are everywhere. Ah, so so it's a mystery dungeon is what you're saying. I mean, I don't think that's the correct word to use, but uh... Never get to B99. I mean, that's because B only goes up to 15. Then you gotta go I goes up to 30, and N up to 45. Actually, nothing goes up to 99. Like, how do you get to 99 if you're, if all you have is a bingo card? Answer me that game. Once you're hooked on the ancient game, you're stuck in the city for a long time. Hmm. Oh, that's expensive, though. Now, who gets the bigger benefit? Actually, both of you have the same weapon, so you'd have equal benefit. Uh, let's give it to you. just don't have the money for a wall up here, so let's uh, sell something. I know it's generally not recommended to sell things, but um, <coughs> if it's going to be this close, I'm going to try to sell a duplicate. Good to have your own dreams. It's so cute that you guys are trying to go into the ancient cave this early. Good luck, you'll need it. Oh, I see. Yeah, he's running in a blue treasure box. Providence is in a treasure chest 20 floors below. So I don't know if this is going to be the rest of the stream, but we'll, we'll see what happens.
Oh, right, because we're... Okay. We must... I can't believe we must leave our equipment, items, and the abstract concept of experience. potions. Uh, we No, actually we started with nothing. We have the high potion that we just found and that's it. Considering what this is, like, basically, huh, so this is a turn-based game with a, with a grid-based movement system, and they explicitly said that uh, the dungeon is never, is never going to be the same, and you start at level 1 with no items or experience, or anything like that. So this is basically... I, I was on the nose before. This is a mystery dungeon game, which makes this a roguelike. It's not like a pure roguelike, but it's close enough that I'm not going to start complaining about people calling this a roguelike. One single sign. Like the the main thing that sets this apart from a mystery dungeon is no passive healing. And also the fact that uh, you have standard turn-based RPG stuff. Continue to be a joke that no one in the chat is ever going to to uh, be in on. I guess that uh, the spell that I just got was given to me as an item that I need to use on one of my party members, namely probably selling one one experience point away from everyone. Hilarious. Yeah. 
Should I just get it then? Yeah, everyone who can use it does have it. Got a witch yield. I don't really have a strategy for the ancient cave, mind you. But what I'm thinking is, we get Providence at level at uh, you know twentieth floor. Maybe we just go to the twentieth floor for this uh, for this attempt, and then just call it there. Because I, I kind of feel like doing the entire ancient cave needs to be its own thing. Not paying any attention to what I just picked up. Uh, one of the spells, right? A drain. Oh, right, and the sword. thought it was. Mock ring. Perfect ring for a mock rider. Stone helm. Decker. Decker doing exactly what his name says and decking. Now considering the the previous floor oh got shield. Considering the previous floor had like was just jam packed with everything. It's kind of weird to have this floor now that's just huge and sprawling. And mostly full of nothing. I believe in miracles. Naturally, this means I'm going to absolutely get lost. I am going to find Mirror. Sometimes you run and get empty drops. As a Smash TV player, I know the pain. It does kind of seem like any doors that I've opened stay open, though, so that's helpful. I think I've pretty much explored everything here. I just gotta go back to where the stairs were.
I'm sure we've seen the stairs, just of course I don't remember where they are. They're in that room over there? No, not there, there. No, not there, there. Potion get Time to swat some mosquitoes. a pretty small floor. More of an opportunity to uh, build up some experience more, uh, more than anything. You know what? If I if I enjoy this mode enough, maybe I will uh, add this to my uh, Archipelago YAML. I'll play it by ear whether or not I do. I mean, look look at uh, how well um, Blasphemous went. Although I, I guess if I do this first, I'm not going to be doing this blind, basically. I feel like that was the biggest problem with me trying to do Blasphemous. Yeah. I have to change the setting. 100 floors is too long. Yeah, I feel like 100 floors is, uh, is what you set it to if you're doing an async. But uh, if you're doing synchronous, I ain't gonna work. Explosion. Also, I should probably use that spell source that I found uh, forever ago. I don't think I found any... Uh... Any more equipment. Yeah, it makes me kind of nervous to have everyone at such low health, but also, like, we're not facing anything, like, especially dangerous yet. Francisca! Uh, that, uh, I think, will go to Maxim. Canopy. Canopy. Who canopy? Uh, actually, no. you are not the person that I'm going to. What am I doing? 
you're mostly going to be doing magic once you have more of it. Now presumably like these guys, like these eagles in the main game, they drop eagle rocks. I imagine they can still drop eagle rocks here, right? Now I'm a little nervous for you there, so I think I'm gonna give you a potion at the very least. So that you're not at 13 health. And eh, potion's all. Let's go for the front line first. What did I just say, Mazzy? around the board. Radius. Baby frog. So we only get to keep for the outside world things that are in blue boxes. That is the important thing to remember here. We have not found any of those yet. Another short sword. I think that's not gonna that's gonna be the first thing that's not an upgrade for anyone. A liar. Uh, that might be good for someone. Yes, it is. Got him first. I didn't get that one down. They're, they're starting to have a little more health here. Shown. Two in a row. Can't make it three. Swat that skeeter. board which um, I mean frankly is gonna be better than nothing that high magic I made Selim defend by accident 
trying to mentally queue up inputs and uh, got ahead of myself. across the board again. And nothing up here, nothing up here, and nothing up here as I think. Just making sure I didn't miss anything. Doesn't look like I did. Cream Usher. How you doing? Ah, uh, going all right. See if that's an upgrade for anyone. Yeah, it's been like I am pretty sure that like a long time ago I did uh, play this game, but like I guess it's been a long time, and then uh. One of my viewers requested it after I did the first one. I was like, yeah, sounds like a good idea. This may be a bit more of a slow part considering that uh, we're taking our first dive into the ancient cave. We're here at least until level 20. I'm probably not going beyond level 20 for now. The pile of soap suds monster. Uh, the game kind of gives you food. Any after that, you gotta go look for. Take on these beefaloes. You have to intentionally try to miss food me. Yeah, pretty much, uh, Gamba. I think that's our first um, attack spell, actually. I mean, like, attack, like, damage spell, basically. Yeah, drain, but, and, and coma, I didn't really count those. So, is the default sword order on this just the order you got them in? Because I feel like I've been using sword and nothing happened. logic to it, but uh, it should go by the regular logic, I assume, just that I have been receiving spells in the order that they would be sorted anyway. 
Then I could change it to the ancient cave. Ooh, it's our first blue chest. The bolt shield. Sound like strong, it should start to the top. Ah, these guys summon ads. Alright. So I'm guessing that the blue item chests are not really, uh, are not really that, uh, common. If your if your reaction is a blue item chest on the first one. Oh, there are mimics. It it tried to sneak up on us there, but uh They're not supposed to be common. Gotcha. Patch change it. Well, if you want to look up the, the patch notes for Fruit Lufia, that's F R U E Lufia. Uh, the Fruit Trilogizer basically just uh, changes names around, but Fruit Lufia is the one that uh, does the heavy lifting. Find a bronze sword. Um, hi, magic. Oh, hi, magic. Some pretty decent weaponry. Really would like to get strong on someone though, because, uh. Like, we, we haven't been in danger, but, like, I don't like the, the health levels being that low. I think we've explored everywhere here. Death Moth, all right. See, that's what I was worried about. Ah, boy, boy. Uh, do we have a revive? We have two miracles. So. There goes one of them. Yeah, of course that was a, uh, that was gonna be a mimic because it was right in front of a door. It couldn't be anything else. Uh, 
Uh... The problem is, they're a lot faster than I am. And at least there are only two of them now, but still. Uh, let's use a high potion on Maxim. Okay, Maxim goes for Get forked if you don't. What is this, the good place? Also, I just noticed, look at the time. 27 minutes. So it's only counting the time that we have been in here. Maybe it's the bad place pretending to be the good place. That'd be a weird concept. How do they do that? For real though, that that like we just uh me and my friend just finished watching that show. Well, she had watched it before, but we just finished watching it, and that was a really good show. Yeah, I kind of don't want to fight that death moth again. That'd be real. A little gun shy after the last time. Yeah, if if we were to um, if we were to toss this on the ground, we might end up with a staff roll. It's definitely some enemy types to actively avoid in the cave. Yeah, I believe it. I believe it. I think we've uh, discovered everything here, haven't we? There wasn't anything else. Yeah, this this was just a very linear area. Which, once again, better than nothing, if anyone can equip it, which only... Wait, can only sell and equip the chop board? That's sexist, I hate that. I actively hate that decision, that's, that's kind of crap. deal that death moth. What I think it's good for it now is monster food. Monsters. Monster. I... <laughs> Yeah, I've played that uh, that Jackbox game. I played it once, and I'm like, you know what? I'm good. It's not my kind of game. Too social for me. Three social, five me. Monster seeking monster zero. It's uh. Basically, like, everyone is secretly a certain kind of monster, and you have to, like, pick someone to go on a date with or something. 
I forget the exact flow of the game. Hold on. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not a fan of it. It's like I'm. I'm glad I've had the experience to play it. It's like it's like with many things. Even if I don't like it, I'm glad that I've done it once. And now I can proceed to never do it again. And like, at least I was in a kind of a comfort zone because um, this is from the one time that um, like I actually got to play a bunch of uh, Jackbox games with a group of people in the same room. And that's an experience that I would absolutely recommend to everyone. Like, all being in the same room, it kind of spoils it a little for doing it online, even if everyone's in the same voice call. Make sure everyone's that best, uh, Equipment. The banter is the best, yeah, exactly. I, st I still remember, uh, I think we were playing uh, one of the quick flashes. Um, and like the, the one where the last one can be a comic lash. So, like, you have to react to the comic that's on the screen. But um, one of the participants had gone to the bathroom, and so they didn't have the comic prompt in front of them. And so they, en they ended up just answering something along the lines of, I can't see the comic, I'm in the bathroom. That was a small floor. Hairband. I guess that only you can equip that because this game is like that. It's a bloody sword, isn't it? It's bloody raw! The bloody sword cursed. Because if it is, we probably don't want to equip anything that is cursed in a place that we can't uncurse. Hit some. What is that thing? Curses don't exist. You have my ward as an octopus creature. Ah, red cores. I see. Unfortunately, they run away immediately. I'm still, I'm still like, it's still interesting that the first time that we got red cores, that I was able to just kill both of them like it was nothing. We have not killed a single one since, and we've run into a few. Got in first. Who's on first? It's on second? I don't know. He's on third.
think we're about done. I think there might be one or two doors that I have not seen here, but uh, yeah, let's move on. At the pace we're going, we're probably going to be effectively spending the rest of this, re of this uh, session here uh, in this dungeon. Oh, that's not good. Team of four getting uh, four or more attacks on us. Ooh, Selen getting poisoned and really low on health. Uh, actually, you hit that. You hit that. I don't have... I have any healing spells, do I now? Can you give yourself a high push? Clear this out before the next poison hits. And we have some antidotes, so let's go and take care of that. Doom, 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 doom. I don't understand those um, checking situation attacks, like, is it just literally they are wasting a turn, or is, is there something else that could be happening because of that? I was wasting a turn. Silly mechanic. They're eating your fear. Oh, that's a bit of a scary room. Hopefully these skeletons aren't too scary. They're kind of tough, but not too bad. Oh, they do hit pretty hard, though. But they're pretty slow. So one is gonna be super easy. So easy that Mazzy can take him out. Coma speaker. What does that mean? Axe all enemies, you can occasionally put them to sleep as well. Okay, so it's a weapon. It's not the strongest for anyone. Oh, no one can equip this. This is a weapon for someone else. Either that or it's actually an item. There's a bug killer. VX magic, I see the red core in the corner there. No! Oh. There's only one scorpion that didn't get in first, so...
Yeah, I should probably give the bug killer to someone, huh? Mop up all them bugs. Although maybe we're, we're past the point where there's going to be a lot of bugs. But it could still potentially be an upgrade for someone. But it is not. Extra pin. Which I think cures paralysis. Confuse. A long sword. Buddy wastes the turn. Speed source. Oh, Maxim gets that immediately. Swapped it out by accident. Let's see if we can get this guy there. Oh, four of them. Uh, I think we have... Oh, maybe it's not something that Maxim can be cast. Yeah, there we go. Oh, one... at least one is sticking around. Exactly one is sticking around. Sweet experience. I see a skit skittering over there. Thing that actually immobilized anyone. And that was enough experience to level us up again. Catches up. Lots of boxes in that uh, little monster zoo. We get a B rock. Good for agility. I keep uh, keep having Maxim be uh, speedy, speedy von Quickenstein, speedy Mc, speedy Mc runs fast. Just not having any luck with these guys. Yeah, 
And that just takes us to back here. Alright. Next floor. Which I think it is in this room. By the way, how does the ancient cave handle death? Is it like just you get booted out and anything you got is lost? Or is it if you die in the game, you die in real life? Oh, this guy is gonna run away for sure. Yeah. That was to be expected. Booted out, booted out. So it's not a game over. Champion! Let's casually get the best healing spell in the game. Problem is, it's gonna be expensive to use. Ooh, one of them staying. And that is some sweet, sweet experience. Nice 255 elixir. How much does it cost? 16. Oof. Yeah, that does start to the top. Honestly, Guy could use some of this. Wow, that's a lot of health. I didn't think Maxim was going to be able to heal everyone to full. That's another monster, Zoo. Sit there. There we Yeah, I gotta keep in mind Selwyn's health is running a bit low. don't have to all hit the same one now. Spread it out a little. Alright, magic. Yeah, these guys are kind of jerks, aren't they? Yeah, I really do need to be using um, Spark on the wooden ones. And then I, pr then I proceed to not do that at all.
Because this one now is like low enough HP that I'm pretty sure I can just take it out as long as I actually connect attacks. There we go. As long as I can connect a cut. Get it? Connecticut? <laughs> Lots of levels up. There's tomatoes, why thank you, I can use those for soup. That's why you don't throw fresh tomatoes. Also, I just realized there uh, there are two red cores there. Oh, long staff. That's gonna be an upgrade for Sylvan. Yeah, okay, at least one. levels up, but that's still a lot of experience for a very easy fight. Speaking of easy fights... Okay, this might not be, uh... This might not be quite so easy. Well, then again. Alright. Shut me up then. I don't know what your deal is though, and I'm probably gonna have to deal with you. One, you got a two, three, three of them stayed. Six, 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 six. Yeah, sure enough, that is a lot of experience. Magic jar. Oh, there are four of you though. That's a little more worrisome. And you're out of magic completely. Not a droplet left. This may get a little rough, actually. Or they could just like mostly not cast at all. That's a good point. I haven't checked my IPs lately. I'm, 
apparently going to continue to not do that. But there is only one left, so you know. Uh, I think this is the part where I just cast Champion on everyone. Magic Jar is only 8. That's unfortunate. My internet protocols. Well, I'll tell you this. My internet protocols are protected by today's sponsor. I don't have a sponsor. This channel didn't go that way. That's everyone here except for that one golem. <laughs> yeah, all of a sudden want Taco Bell. <laughs> oh, Swansea has zero VPN for zero scams. Just give me a call. Oh, zero scams, huh? No scams here at all. Excellent. Sign me up. Zero VPN scammed me out of my pants. Honestly, I, I would, uh... I am interested to know how a VPN service scams someone out of their pants in their sleep, mind you. <laughs> Get back here, you jerk. Here. I think you equip appears, don't you? No? Yes, no. Get off my lawn. I don't want it. It's comfy. I mean, there, there are probably comfier places than lawns. Let's... Yeah, unle unless, uh... Unless Zero is, like, springing for the, uh... For the, the super deluxe turf. situation. That's my turf. <laughs> it's bluegrass. It's actually blue grass, Cyrano colored. I see, I see. Get it? I see. Is there anything else like this? Yes, over here. Mind you.
Oh boy, carrots. Perfect thing for my eyesight. <laughs> Ow, my eyes! I don't know how this is supposed to work. Horse rock? With a capital horse. I'll have to speak up. I'm a little horse. Now you have pointy eyes. Anyway. You can have this hard jacket. Prefer a soft jacket, but the soft. Oh, jeez. 351? What happened there? Back in this room. And a crystal helm. It's perfect for traversing the crystal maze. It's kind of hilarious that I'm able to fight an enemy from another room in technically this room. Down we go. I might start- oh, Decker Blade. Well gee, I wonder who can equip this. Decker, do you know? But yeah, I might start rushing just for the fact that uh, we are running a little low on time. We still got like Oh, jeez. That is a crit for 438. Glass cap, not to be conf confused with blue cap. It's gonna rock that glass merchandise, apparently. Him a good weapon and he'll mop up fools. He's a fool fighters. Fool fighters, fight this fool. I mean, some of the stuff that I've been getting has been pretty good, and I kind of wish that I could just keep going, but. Um, I also don't want to spend, like, another, like, entire session and maybe a third in the, uh, the Ancient Cave while we're still doing the story. Go. Now I understand that I am the biggest fool of all. Therefore, you must fight me. That will not go easy. I just get a. Think I've explored everything here. Thunder, thunder, thunder axe. Oh, 
Oh, you're... I... okay. I didn't think the coat would be useful for anyone, but there you go. Also, that Thunder Axe was useful for no one. That coat is better than no coat. Who thought? Who, who would have thought? That having a coat is better than not having a coat at all. I'm a little nervous about these Wraith Fungi. Now we're gonna get a free turn against them at the very least, so there's a little less worry there. How else will some stay warm? I mean, she has a husband, he's right there. Estic. Is that an upgrade for anyone? Yes it is. Have fun carrying a coat in this hot weather. Thanks, Jerry, and you have a good night. Have a revive. Hoping to get a back attack there, but I guess not. Ah, another hard lever. Or a hard lever. I do feel like this run is going really well. Of course, you're just gonna be standing there, I guess. Yeah, finding champion was definitely uh, a good thing to happen. No heals, no bueno. Yeah. Could be that this is the run that was just meant to be like you know for first run best run, I guess. But we'll never know. that on Decker. Probably will be particularly useful. Well, then again, I don't think Decker really needs it, come to think of it. Because, like, he's just gonna annihilate everything in one hit anyway. Okay, I'm gonna put it on Sol. Nothing 
else here? Go down. 418. <laughs> Basically nothing here. Yeah, there's um there's a task that I saw on the task videos channel recently. Um it's another game that's kind of uh you know uh tower descender kind of like this one. I forget what it was called. It was a game for the PlayStation, I believe. And like the post-game dungeon goes down 10,000 floors, but it is possible to like skip like 240 floors at a time, something like that. It's kind of ridiculous. And like someone mentioned, like, so someone saw this game that can take some people like a decade to finish in some cases. Claps his hands, goes 30 minutes. And I, I am willing to bet that like someone is going to see that, like see like the, their quote unquote video game life's work getting finished in 30 minutes and basically just chuck their disc out the window. <laughs> In absolute disgust over what they just watched. Blizzard! It's a pretty good spell until it merges with Activision. Then everything is ruined forever. There are other people than Mazzy there. Although I guess if you're hitting Mazzy, you're not hitting one of our party members that does have, you know, limited amounts of health. Another undead ring. Uh, if we're gonna have two, then yes, I will give one to Decker. Just for the flex more than anything else. Courage? Which one is courage? And then spell. Courage. Increases defense by a large amount during battle. Yeah, if I, if I can find it again, Zero, I'll post it to your Discord. And here is Floor 20. Found Curse Lifter. Well, zero. I believe you have been lying to me. Uh huh. All right, so this guy looks special. I don't know. Is he special? No, he's not special. Um, he 
we got some slating to do. If anyone's gonna take a death here, it may as well be Nazi, because uh, she'll come back next uh, next battle. But generally here, I'm gonna I'm gonna want to start avoiding fights in general, so that uh, we can get out of here. Is Providence going to be on floor 20 or can it be like on any floor under 20? And if it can be on any floor then can it end up being on like floor 50 or something? Hopefully not that much later because we do gotta get out of here. And it's going to be in a chest, right? Is it a, in a blue chest or a red chest? There it is. Let's get out of here. Uh, actually, let's finish this floor first. Just in case there is a... Um, just in case there's a blue chest here somewhere. And there is! Diamond Axe. Uh, is there only going to be one blue chest on the floor? Or can there be more? There can be more than one. Well, let's take a quick look. Yeah, it does seem very unlikely that there will be more, but uh, due diligence, basically. Yeah, I'm good. Uh, let's get out of here. Explain once again how this works. Yeah. Blah blah blah, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Okay, um, so we got a couple of potential upgrades, both of which were just gonna drop directly on Decker. Let's see how this uh, compares to 627 damage or uh, attack. Sweet crap! What the? <laughs> All right. I don't know. Possibly the hand axe at 331. Wow, that's an upgrade. I am glad I double-checked. Like, I was about to use Providence, I was like, nope, we're gonna finish looking on this floor. And there's the friggin' Diamond Axe. Wow, okay. <laughs> so that was like, the best possible call. I don't know if I need to use an in, but like just out of habit at this point. So there we go. 
that uh, that trip to the ancient cave was absolutely worth it. Um, I don't know how I'm going to handle the ancient cave going forward, though. Like, I don't know if I want to do this for a long run stream or a special stream or something. I don't really know how I'm going to handle this. Cause it's obvious, as we've just witnessed, that it's going to be worth coming here. Because that is, like, possibly endgame tier weaponry. <laughs> but yeah, like you're saying, that's a problem for future Coolio. We're done for today. Right on time. Alright, so thank you all for hanging out. Uh, thank you to... Uh, Gamba, Zero, Grim, J-Pop, Tyrion, and of course uh, Tree Mosher uh, as a first time chatter. Mm, excuse me, the next scheduled stream is going to be on uh, Thursday at I think around 8.30, somewhere around that Atlantic Daylight Time. Uh, that is going to be my next uh, match in the Super Smash TV Easy Percent Tournament. That is going to be against Joey Mittens, who I believe just had a run of like 629 with his bet, like his best Mutoid entry ever, which makes me nervous. We'll see what happens. The so following that is going to be on Sunday at 8 p.m. or later, Atlantic Daylight Time. It is the Sunday Super Shuffle, and maybe I'll play this. I don't know. Like this was kind of fun, honestly. It was a lot more fun than trying to fight the bosses in Blasphemous anyway. We'll see what happens, maybe I'll just go for something more usual, I don't know. And that takes us around the week around the wheel to our next uh, long run stream next Tuesday at 9pm Atlantic uh, Daylight Time. We're going to continue the story and uh, possibly leave a trail of destruction in our way. So that's going to do it, uh, and also you can follow me on co-host at CoolYormZX and also support me on Libera Pay for a recurring payment or buy me a coffee for a one-time payment at the links in chat right now. Thank y'all for watching, I'm Coolio if you don't know, and I'll see you guys next time.